know, hello, my dear lovely YouTubers and my YouTube watchers. You're not YouTubers, are you? Of course you're not. You're people who watch the YouTube. You're the people who watch the content that's created by the YouTubers. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the crows as the pile creation. Okay, so you're going to choose one of these three piles. Interesting, right? Because these giant crow oracle cards feel like they're too big to be part of just the generalised reading. Are you with me? So I feel like they should be right up there with the crystals. And this is how many of these cards we've still got to work through. And today we're on the mentor. The mentor, look at it. Isn't this perfect? Look, if I just picked one crow card, it would have had a matching bird. Bird and the crow, just the crow. One crow bullying the other crow. And illusion. Two crows and somebody else watching the illusion shatter. Somebody's illusions were about to be shattered, I feel, with that reading. Now I'm going to choose an elephant for each of these. Oh, I probably should choose four, shouldn't I? Four crows, okay. Isolation. Okay, which is the isolated elephant? The one that's very spiritual because there's fewer people that are spiritual, aren't there? The illusion with the lilac elephant, the mental one. And the exposed one, the emotional elephant, the green one. And I'm going to create some tarot piles for these in a moment. The mentor, the teacher, the sage, the guru. It is said that cosmic knowledge pours down on the world like a great illuminated waterfall. This can be an overwhelming force. The true teacher though is said to be able to hold this flow of wisdom at bay while the student sips from a focused stream. The mentor archetype has a gift for reading the room, for sensing the exact ingredient that will stimulate growth within the student, whether pleasant or painful. The mentor may appear aloof or available, harsh or tender, humorous or rigid, their gift is to know what serves the soul. Ultimately, the mentor is in service of the greater cosmic good and aids in the elevation of consciousness. Anytime the mentor forgets this humble link and mistakes themselves for the source of enlightenment, the archetype falls into shadow. So when it's the right way up, it's focused, clear, bright, remains a student. Upside down, self-serving, envious of youth, righteous, rigid. Keep in mind how easy it is to project power onto another. The expressions feet of clay and cult of personality exist for a reason. Although it's typically true that parents are our initial teachers, the child will eventually seek a mentor figure outside of the home to assist their growth. And I'm going to have a look at these Urban Crow cards. The Urban Crow cards, the person who's written these, said to use them literally how you feel. So not to pay attention to these books. That's literally what this person said. MJ Cullinane. But she shared with us her thoughts about what these cards mean. 16. Dominance. Like all creatures, Crows establish a pecking order, and to do so, the stronger bird asserts its power. Dominance indicates that you may be feeling restricted by someone, or that a stressful situation is impacting your thoughts and decisions. Someone or something may be flexing their muscle, which will cause friction within, as you may not be able to fight or defend yourself. This card may represent a boss who makes you work overtime, a partner who always picks the restaurant, or a friend who always has to win. It may also indicate your need to be in control. On a positive note, dominance may indicate your power over something and your ability to control a situation. Okay, so it's an either or then thing in this book. Either or, could be anything. 
illusion. Have you ever been absolutely, positively, 100% certain about a situation, only to find that the complete opposite is true? During a reading, illusion may surface to help you uncover if you are clinging to a narrative that suits your feelings about a situation rather than the facts. For example, the person who spends their day angry that their email was not answered, they assume the recipient read it and ignored it. All their energy being upset and angry could have been avoided if they just realised that they themselves forgot to hit send. Illusion might appear if we're operating on false assumptions or if we are in denial and do not want to accept the reality of a situation. When we double down or commit to the story we created in our minds, our actions and behaviours are then a byproduct of what we want or assume to be true. If our assumptions are wrong, our actions and behaviours may have negative consequences. Does your interpretation match reality or are you acting on an illusion? And then 27, isolation. Even when surrounded by a group, we all have experienced a feeling of being alone at one time or another. You may need to consider if you're holding back input out of fear or expressing an unpopular opinion. This card may also indicate a group or community that didn't connect with your beliefs, causing you to feel ostracised. Use this time to look inward, examining what ideas or insights come to mind. Isolation may also indicate a need to remove yourself from a situation to quiet your mind and contemplate your next move. Isolation may bring to the surface feelings associated with abandonment and can represent a block centred around a fear that your actions may lead to not being accepted or removed from a group. Fear of being cast aside might result in you limiting your potential by withholding ideas or suppressing inspiration. For example, if you grew up in a home where lack and scarcity of resources was a dominating factor and now as an adult you have opportunities to create financial freedom, the fear of no longer fitting in with your family may prevent you from reaching your greatest potential. If you are successful, you may risk conflict with your family as your paths diverge. Okay, exposed. Did any of that sink in with you? I switched off halfway through that. I'm sorry, it just didn't, it just, just went straight over my head. Exposed, alone and unprotected. The fledgling is vulnerable to attack. Exposed may indicate you are being thrust into the spotlight and potentially not in a good way depending on the circumstances. As a result, you may feel helpless and fear possible criticism. Exposed may also point to an open and free opportunity for the taking, as there will not be much in the way of opposition. Exposed speaks to the feelings that surface as a result of feeling vulnerable. Are you comfortable putting yourself out there? Does facing criticism cause you to free freeze up? What opportunities have you possibly missed because of a fear of being seen. Exposed may also present itself as a calling to examine your situation more carefully as a piece of valuable information is becoming clearer. clearer. Something or someone may expose their flaws or weaknesses and this may prove to be beneficial information in the future. That's very interesting. Very interesting. But then she did say, use whatever you feel is the right feeling that you get around these cards and where they come up, depending on when they come up. Okay, let's have a little look at these cards in this order, shall we? Let's create some piles. Let's create some tarot cards. It's a very interesting concept, isn't it? The mentor of these four very different types of life experiences and yet we're all human and we all have these experiences don't we and we all have these experiences at some stage in our life sorry you can't see the elephants can you let me bring them down move them over I'll just mess about hold on i'll bring you back when i've done it i swear that green elephant is heavier than the others heavy elephant okay the spiritual elephant the mental elephant and the physical elephant which is also, I know it matches because I've chosen the colours, of course it does, yeah, that's why that happened, didn't it? I forgot, I forgot that I chose the 
elephants and put them on the cards. It would have been better if I'd chosen the elephants first, wouldn't it? Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We've done it now. We forgive ourselves our little indiscretions and our little things that we do, which we could have improved on, right? Can we improve any of these situations for ourselves? Now, what I was reading about the other day, talking of improvements, I'm back to this multiverse situation again. The idea that there's multiverses going on and we only know about this one that we're living in and it is mind-blowing it does stretch your mind to think about it and think about all the little things that happen in your day what if we do have to repeat them you know what if that is a thing where we have to repeat our lives and every single little decision that we make is changing the path of this life right now I'm very I'm guilty of this. I drive along. I'm thinking about the next house I've got to go to. I'm wondering about how I'm going to park, where I'm going to get there, and all this, you know, all those sorts of things. And I'm not often in the moment while I'm doing my work and my job. I'm just not, unless I think about it consciously. And yesterday I thought about it consciously. I thought, no, today I'm going to be in the moment as much as humanly possible to notice what I'm doing on the road, not just to drive along blindly with the sat nav with the google paying attention to my map and the fact that i've got to be somewhere i've got to be at x y and z by a certain time right i'm going to pay attention to what is around me and think where can i help other people now i do i am generally the once giving way right i do generally do that but there are so many times on the road where you could be more helpful by letting somebody out who's turning right go onto a main road before you you know and all that all those little things so yesterday i noticed them all day long I noticed them and there were at least half a dozen times which I'm pretty sure I would have missed if I hadn't been paying as much attention it's the same when we have conversations with people what could we have said better could we have done it better could we have been more helpful could we have been kinder could we have been more compassionate right now these are the little piles of cards I've done up to the Osho cards which are the current situation and now I'm going to open a few of these tarot cards for what's going to be happening for the situation okay so one's the current situation and one's where it's going because we do like a bit of where it's going don't we we just do we like a bit of prediction with these cards without the prediction what's the point of watching them that one's got two of those interesting so for instance Let's see, give you an example of the sort of things that happened to me yesterday. <laughs> the sort of things that happened to me yesterday, I was out and about driving along. What did I do? Did I have any troubles parking? No, I didn't. I didn't have any problem. But actually, I honestly can't think of an example yesterday of things that could have gone wrong because all I was doing was focusing on improving what was there and that is what I was focusing on and I did my best yesterday that's how I felt I did my best all day could I have improved it yep I could have been less impatient when I was in a queue at the end of the day yesterday I was walking to a, a tower block building and I'd parked the car about three roads away. It was very, very hot. I was hot, I was sweating. I needed a drink. I needed something from the sweet shop on the way before I went to my next visit, the next house I had to visit. And when I got there, there was a woman and she had 13 pounds worth of shopping in a shop that you just go in there to buy a 50p thing from. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like, you know when you go into one of those shops, it's just almost like a motorway service station. It's just a fly-by shop. It's a quick shop. It's, it's not a place you go to for your supermarket shop. It's not a place where you, you go and buy your, your weekly shopping. It's the sort of place where you go to because you run out of milk or you need cigarettes or a lighter or, you know, just literally a little shop. Just £13 pounds worth of little stuff, little things. <laughs> I was impressed that she'd managed to find £13 pounds worth of stuff in there. But my feeling was, while I was queuing, was impatience. 
Now, I don't know if she was on weed or cannabis or something and she felt a need to go and, and find some food or stuff or whatever that was the reason she was particularly wanting a basket full of sweet goodies. I don't know what happened there. But I could feel the impatience rising because it was like, why? Why did I find myself in this queue behind this person? Why couldn't I have got here five minutes earlier and I'd have been in and out? Why? You know? But there I was. And I lost my idea of I'm trying to be a nice person today. I'm trying to focus on improving everything. It went, just went. And I stood there and was impatient. <laughs> now, when you're impatient, as much as you try and hide it, right, other people can sense it. They can feel it. The poor person behind the till started doing the shopping quicker for this person. I made that whole shopping experience so much more unpleasant than it needed to be. I could have had a chat with the girl. I could have spoken with her. But I just couldn't. I didn't have that level of energy where I could do that at that time because I was stressing about where I've got to go. It was really hot. The car was hot. I had another half a dozen houses to fit in in the next hour, right, before the light started coming down and it, people don't like you knocking on their doors or they're all out and it's Saturday night, right, because it was Saturday yesterday. So I went out and then I went to the building that I was going to and the intercom rang but no one answered. But the gate was broken and open. So I went in the broken gate, walked through the back garden of the tower block that had a paddling pool and it was full of water and there were balloons and evidence of a children's party that had gone on. There was no one there, they'd all gone in. It was too hot. And there was all chalk all over the pavement, all rainbow coloured chalk. And I managed not to walk through it, I walked around it because I'd sort of remembered about my promise to myself to do my best that day. If I hadn't been doing my best, I'd have walked through the chalk and just strolled upstairs with chalk all over my feet, right? But no, I walked around it, I went in, I found the flat I had to go to and I knocked nicely on the door, I didn't bang it down and knocked nicely, there was no one there, put the leaflet through. And I came back down the stairs, walked back, retraced all my steps, went across the zebra crossing, thanked the people that stopped for me, walked back through the car park, found the easiest route which was down two ramps, up another ramp, over another zebra crossing, back to the car. And then I got in the car and I was doing my work. I have to put things in on a tablet to say what I've been doing, when I've been doing it. And a woman pulled up next to me and she waved at me like, are you going? Because there's hardly any parking around it. So I nodded and said yes. And I put my work down and I pulled the car away and I went down the road and parked on double yellow lines. And then I finished my work there because I was helping that woman who turned up at that point because I recognized that I'd been impatient in the shop and that I could be doing this better, right? Trying to put myself on a different wavelength that made everything else happen more smoothly. That's one of the things that happened yesterday. So that sort of thing went on all day. And that carried on until the evening. So I'm guessing I've just cut out, the I just told you a story about some good thing I did yesterday. And then I remembered if you talk about the good things that you do, you might as well not have done them because your karma isn't based on being rewarded and, and patted on the head by a your current people that you're surrounded by okay so i'm sorry about that i did just tell you a story which was quite interesting but i can't share it because it is about the good part that i played which isn't where i want to be okay thanks for watching and we'll look at your cards in a moment let's have a look at what this situation is now for this red domineering or being dominated elephant shall we open the cards and then we'll have a look at what's coming for the future let's see what cards you've got You've got the humpback whale, singer. Sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. Okay, do red elephant, that's really in tune with your physical stuff. Remember, you have a soul as well. The white buffalo. <laughs> Yep, the white buffalo, source of physical power and strength. Oh, look at this. The Knight of Cups. It's like a Cupid cat. Shooting arrows. Shooting arrows. The High Priestess. I feel the High Priestess is a very powerful card. Is this a very powerful elephant? A very powerful domineering, dominant player. I'm going to put this card over here. Is this your inner dominatrix? Are you being dominated by another person or are you dominating someone else? 
Or are you just feeling powerful like somebody who can do the dominating? Look at this. Trust. Ace of Swords. Trust that no matter what is happening here for you, despite all the obstacles that there are in front of you, if you can take a leap of faith and trust that what is going to happen for you is in your own best interests, you're going to succeed here. But you're the person that has to do the trusting, okay? So there's someone in your world who is trying to be dominant over you in various ways. Oh, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Two little cats. Somebody being approached by somebody who's more dominant than them. So this balance of power, so this person on the higher ground is in a balance of power that's not equal. And so that can... The person who's being dominant over you in this situation thinks that they have got power over you, but actually they're on slippery ground and they don't know that. Three of Swords, yeah, we all know what this means. This means the drama and pain that is caused to you is coming from a third party. Now, either there's three people involved in this situation, either this is two people that are having a weird relationship and one person is trying to attack it, right? But you're the person that's in the relationship. Freedom is what comes about. This is your future cards, okay? Freedom and the king of coins. This is your future. Your future here is to know that you can overcome these obstacles and these problems that are currently facing you. And what is the outcome of this is freedom this king of coins I'm putting back. Now the king of coins doesn't always have to be a male. But it is a person who's important to you financially. Either you're going to be your own king of coins. Because you've got this freedom card. yep, Or you're going to free yourself up from the situation. You're no longer going to accept the relationships and situations that cause you mental torment. And it's going to lead you to freedom. Which will lead you... To having an improved relationship, an improved situation, that will make you feel much happier than you're feeling at the moment. I do love a little red elephant. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Let's have a little look at the lilac elephant, shall we? The one that uses their mind with the illusion card. The one that likes to create pictures in their mind and think that that's the real world. And that's what's going on. This is what's happening for you at the moment, and then these cards are what's going to be happening for you in the future. So at the moment, Squirrel, you are the expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for your future, and life will give you all you need. Contemplation. It's time to really think about what it is that you want. What do you want to get from life? What would you like life to bring you? Dear lovely little person who is creating things with their mind and lots of things they don't really know what they want. But this card, the fall, in the card of black cats, you've got the one white cat starting something new. Okay, the fall, stepping out on a new path. Nine of swords is worrying about it and having anxiety and thinking and feeling that it can't ever work where can i put this so you can see it there you can't ever work so you're feeling the worry of this because this is the mental elephant this is the elephant that lives in their mind but you have got the four of pentacles so it's a balanced financial situation okay so you really haven't got a lot to worry about so this worrying is purely unnecessary and it's a habit stress you've actually got the stress card look at this dear mental elephant dear elephant of the mental plane you're living on the mental plane and the stress is overtaking you and you're allowing the stress and the worry of a situation that isn't real and isn't actually harming you to bring you pain and discomfort okay you don't have to worry this this little pack of cards is telling you please will you learn about the worrying now 
music comes up to remind you what are you putting in your ears now what sort of thoughts are you exposing your mind to what sort of music what's coming into your mind what is coming into your ears what sort of words what are you watching on the television what are you watching on youtube what are you listening to that's causing you to feel worse okay your guardian angels are asking you that you've really got to get a grip of this okay this issue that you've got with the mental health and the stress because you're not helping yourself and for your future path you've got to take steps to help yourself okay financially you haven't got anything to worry about all right so whatever it is you're worrying about you need to recognize that it's it's of your own creation the lover's card is coming up for you okay so this is your future now the lover's card look at this we've got the joker oh that's funny isn't it the lover's card comes up when you've got a choice of two paths and yours is completely positive it's nothing to worry about at all here and temperance and being calm look you couldn't get a perfect set of cards for you're not going to have anything to worry about the hardest thing you've got to do is make a choice about what you do want and then you've got to step out into your positive future but know that this this mental state that you're getting yourself into can be healed by you okay thanks for watching bye for now this is like two minute tarot isn't it because it takes me about two minutes to open these cards and have a look at them for you but exposed this is the vulnerable elephant pack this is the emotionally vulnerable place that a person is in here cat independent you are a natural healer your intuition is strong you don't have to go with the crowd life supports you in every way it's a nice green color as well you've got there let me bring that down so you can see it okay who else have you got the wolf keeper also green lovely this is you being in nature so it is reminding you that you can be circled by wolves but when you're expecting them you can be prepared to fly away like the independent cat you know how the cat jumps in reflex to things that they're surrounded by if you know that you're surrounded by wolves you can be prepared is forewarned is forearmed right be prepared this is a beautiful card the balance look at this the justice the weighing up the fairness weighing up the good with the bad taking the rough with the smooth four of pentacles again one of the other elephants got the four of pentacles it's the balance of the money in a good way so it's not balancing as in oh you've just about got enough coming in it's balancing as in it's it's foundation and securely balanced wow four of cups as well so you've got the balance in here the balance the balance the four points of your emotions work rest and play you've got four cats there I'm surprised there aren't four wolves there, it's three, but you've got the balance of your emotions, feeling emotionally balanced. Now, your two cards that come up for you in your reading is maturity and participation, okay? So you know that you've got to be in it to win it, right? Whatever it is that you want. And maturity is coming about for you because you are feeling emotionally settled and balanced in this situation. When you're feeling like this and you've got financial security and you've got emotional wealth and harmony nothing can touch you as much as you've got these things circling around you that would like to have a go attacking you they're not going to win and they can't beat you because you are safe with who you are right this is what you're coming up for. this is what you're currently faced with and this is what's coming up for your future spiritual growth perfect you like that because it's come up with the maturity and it's where you're going, it's a path you're heading in. You're saying, actually, this is what I'm wishing for, this is what I want, this is what I'm going for. And you've got the world card. So you've got a lot of choices and a lot of possibilities and options open to you. Look at that, you've got the four of cups again, four of hearts again. Balance. <laughs> no, the four of pentacles. Are they, is they, are they joking us? Are they having a little game here? You've got all these fours. And also the three of coins. So 
you're going to have financial security you've got emotional security that's come from within you you're going to head towards a path of spiritual growth because you feel like you've been spending so much time focusing on this other ridiculous behavior from other people you haven't had time to really explore what you're feeling and what you're wanting at the moment it's time for you to step out dear lovely little vulnerable elephant and with the faith and knowledge that you feel good on the inside there's enough money flowing in you can make it you can do this you can choose what you want oh that's lovely thanks for watching bye for now okay so last but not least we have the white elephant this is the white elephant with the mentor combo and isolation this is feeling isolated because there's not enough people on your wavelength okay that's what's happened here sea turtle you are master of finding life's flow be in harmony with the rhythm and your path will unfold persevere and you will succeed you have everything you need to be protected and happy the sun bear oh this is a really beautiful card i love this card it's so beautiful isn't it look at this it's a reminder that there's light after the dark spring comes after the winter and you've got the eight of swords which is how you feel at the moment you're feeling in the dark it's perfect with isolation isn't it but the knight of pentacles is here to bring us hope that you can just leave it all behind it might cost you some money but you can leave it all behind three of wands this is your ship coming in this is feeling as though you can't see the light after the dark and this is your main downfall at the moment, comparing what you're doing with what other people are doing. If you're going to compare, now, spiritual elephant, okay, you may not even be aware you're doing this. But when you're comparing yourself to what other people are doing, you cause yourself pain. Okay, because you're the white elephant that's supposed to be on your own spiritual path. You're not supposed to be following the same path of everyone else. You're not supposed to be going with the crowd. You are supposed to be doing this bit on your own. Look, on your own, on your own. You can do this. You have to do this bit on your own because there's no one around you to do it with you. But when you take the next steps, you won't long. You won't be on your own. This is your future cards. So okay, this is what's coming up for you. Balance. Wow. If you've looked at any of the other card readings that I've done today, the balance has just come up pretty much on all of them it's a balancing act people are doing everywhere there we go there's your nine of coins that's the happiness once you reach your destination and your calling where you're being called to go you'll be really happy and it doesn't matter what other people think or what you're doing okay you've got the death card you have got the start of something new because this old thing has to go. You have to remember that what you've left behind that's brought you to this isolation, you have to let it go. It's gone. Yay, nine of cups, perfect. You've got two nines. You're going to be so happy when you move forward into your next phase. And again, should we just have another four of cups? Just, just, the universe just telling us to balance emotional harmony, balance our well being, balance what we're learning balance how much we're working work rest play and study those are the four corners of life that you have to try and find a balance and it's not easy no one finds it easy if anyone ever found that easy no one would have written books about it okay thanks for watching beautiful spiritual elephant let me know if, when you find your path where it is and how you took steps to get there thanks for watching bye for now